BJP's Prime Ministerial candidate Narendra Modi addressed a rally in Karnataka today, a bid to regain lost ground ahead of the 2014 polls in the only South Indian state his party ever ruled before losing it to the Congress in Assembly polls in May this year. The Bangalore rally witnessed unprecedented security arrangements being put in place. Hundreds of senior police officers along with more than 4,000 policemen were deployed for the rally. 80 CCTV cameras were also installed at the rally venue. Reacting to the Congress's demand for a probe by a sitting Supreme Court judge into the snooping row surrounding him and his close aide Amit Shah, Modi said it was a political conspiracy. And tracking the story for us is my colleague Maya Sharma, who now joins us uh, from the venue of that Narendra Modi rally in Bangalore. Maya, this is undoubtedly an important state for the BJP, the only sudden state that it has ruled. Uh, what was the total upshot of uh, Narendra Modi's speech today? Well, this really was the very first time he has held a rally here after being declared the prime ministerial candidate for the BJP. His rallies here in Karnataka ahead of the assembly elections which were held in May were a great success in terms of attendance at the rally, in terms of response from the rally. It did not quite convert into votes, of course, the BJP coming a rather dismal third in the assembly elections. But here today at this Bangalore Palace rally ground, there was really a massive turnout. The rally just ended a short while ago. and. Some lakhs of people, the BJP estimated around three lakhs of people, and certainly several of them had actually paid 10 rupees. They had registered and paid 10 rupees to buy coupons to actually attend this rally, this rally itself. And a check for that amount was actually given across to Narendra Modi. And yes, during his speech, he touched upon all the topical issues. He, as usual, had the crowd really eating out of his hands. He did sway the crowd here in Bangalore, as he did ahead of the elections as well. He spoke of yesterday's Wankere Stadium match and saying that people are wondering whether Sachin would hit a century first or whether the onion would hit a century first. He spoke about his being an outdoor player, whereas the UPA people were actually indoor sportsmen. So yes, lots of attacks on the UPA, its governance, its decisions. He spoke a lot about Bangalore and Karnataka's contribution to science, starting in fact, starting his speech with a reference to the Bharat Ratna, won by Professor C.N.R. Rao of Bangalore and also, of course, Sachin Tendulkar. He even cited Lata Mangeshkar's endorsement of him as a prime ministerial candidate and quoted that some Congress leaders actually said that her Bharat Ratna should actually be taken back because of that. So yes, it was a populist, populist speech here. He talked to the crowd here for the first time in Bangalore since being declared the prime ministerial candidate. This huge ground here at the Bangalore Palace was fairly full, a huge amount of security also after Patna especially, people taking no chances and this venue was actually secured by the Bangalore police some weeks ago to make sure that everything went off smoothly at this rally here in Bangalore today.